Hi, I'm Alexa Mead. I'm a 23-year-old artist from Washington, D.C. And today I'm painting at Irvine Contemporary Gallery. What I'm doing, actually, is painting a portrait of someone on top of themselves. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. So this is a little tricky to get on because it's stiff. What's interesting now is I think that I'm capturing people, covering them in paint, but in the photos they almost look intangible. And now the person kind of dissolves in my photos. So I decided that for this piece I'd make something that would look like a painting in progress. A lot of artists start out with making a base layer for the paint, where they'll sketch out where everything should go in either blues or yellows. And then on top of that they'll create the finished painting. So with Blake today, I'm creating this underpainting with him in blue, and then I'm going to paint on top of his face with brighter colors as if I'm just beginning to flesh out the figure. So we're going to get started with prepping your face. He's um, half African American and half white, and that a lot of people sometimes have a hard time identifying him. And he thought that would be interesting if I could play with that in this piece. I like your ears. <laughs> So in this piece, I've done it all monochrome, blue and white, so it's neither black nor white. It's really a combination of the two. And I don't think that someone looking at him could necessarily place him in one specific race or another. I think that this is a really um, big jump, perhaps, in portrait painting, because it's not only the painting, but it's also the performance of the model. So it's a combination of photography, performance, painting, installation. I find that the little kids are actually the ones who get it the quickest. You know, they'll look at this and they'll tell their parents that they're looking at a three-dimensional painting. And then the parents aren't quite sure, you know, what the kids are talking about and brush it off. And the kids are the ones that have to explain it to them.